The Eels aren't wasting any time in their bid to replace Brad Arthur after sacking him this afternoon. As we revealed earlier, the club had been attempting to woo Wayne Bennett, but he's told Parramatta the Rabbitohs are his preferred option. With a year and a half left on his contract, Arthur was summoned to Eels headquarters late this afternoon and told the 48-16 loss to the Storm was his last game in charge. Assistant coach Trent Barrett will take over as interim. Josh Adokar was proudly modelling his Indigenous round jersey at Belmore today, but there's another jumper he's also hoping to wear this season. He's been in touch with new Blues coach Michael Maguire and is desperate to hold on to his origin spot. It's one of the best rounds of the year, the Bulldogs paying tribute to their Indigenous players. The Fox taking it a step further by explaining why he went on an all-meat diet to get his career back on track at a time when his attitude was under the microscope. I really thought about what my ancestors used to eat um, and that's how I really come up and just tried it. Um, strictly meat, so yeah, just tried it and um, transformed my body into the, the way I wanted it and it, did, it helped me, it helped me uh, perform and train the best I could and um, really help my sleep as well. No nightmares. <laughs> and Addo Carr has a go-to. Are you a good cook, mate? Did you used to cook all those meat meals? <laughs> Coconut curry chicken, that's it. <laughs> nah. It's a secret. <laughs> Anything curry bar can cook. With the season now in full swing, he has introduced some carbohydrates into his diet and he'd like to feast out on another Origin series. Blues. See what happens, bro. See what happens. Um, spoke to Magic a couple of weeks ago, just just a general chat and um, just things I can improve on and, and, and keep doing. So I uh, really did appreciate that. You still have that desire, yeah? Of course, bro, of course. Love putting that jersey on. I'm representing my family, I'm representing my community and um, representing the people of, of New South Wales. With Brian Toto on one wing, Addo Carr may have to do battle with Drag and Zach Lomax for the other spot. They play each other this week. Josh, um, Zach doesn't really like being a winger. <laughs> you like it, don't you? <laughs> well, it pays the bills, bro, so nah. I love it, bro. I love scoring tries and just love playing in this Bulldogs jersey every week. Danny Weidler, Nine News. The verdict is in. Cameron Munster has officially been ruled out of the entire State of Origin series after scans revealed a tear in his groin today. Munster and the Melbourne Storm have decided not to undergo surgery and instead begin an intense rehabilitation program over the coming months. Just over an hour after he was in agony on the field, Cameron Munster had his sense of humour back <laughs> as he was able to walk out of Suncorp Stadium with a cheeky grin. But that smile wouldn't last long with reality soon setting in. Scans today confirming a tear in his adductor tendon which will see him sidelined for eight to ten weeks, ruling him out of the entire origin period. It's a massive blow to be fair. He's, um Whatever is, whenever he's put on the Maroons jersey, he's done such a great job for Queensland. It's pretty devastated for um, Munster to go down like that because um, every time he played the Origin, it's, uh, <laughs> as we all know, he's just a freak, to be honest, and um, I love watching him play in the Origin. Queensland coach Billy Slater will now look to his replacement with Tom Dearden and Ezra Mann both in the discussion. I wouldn't shy away from a challenge. Um, you know, it's a... You know, very high standard of football played in Origin. So, um, you know, if I was picked, I'd um, you know take with both hands and put my best foot forward for for the state. Benji Marshall has put his players on notice. The coach warning the Tigers he's ready to make changes following their seventh straight loss after going down to the Dolphins 24 to 12. It's frustrating, and the message has been the same for the last six weeks that we keep beating ourselves. So, yeah, if we can't change it, then the people have to change. Danica Mason, Nine News.